great that you're either joining me live now or catching the recording just to take a few moments out and reassess where we are. Today I wanted to share a few thoughts with you around potential and actually the potential of our potential. Now is that something that we stop and think about that often? I don't know. I didn't for many years, I must admit. In some ways it's kind of more you're thinking about a career or maybe changing careers, then you kind of stop and assess and think, what am I good at? What what could I do? How could I grow and develop to enable me to do that? Then there's the danger that we we kind of we start on that path and things are going well and we kind of box up potential, put it on the shelf so that it's there when we need it. We know it's there and we can just draw upon it kind of in emergencies or when big changes happen. But we can actually cultivate an awareness and a habit of exploring, digging into our potential more, stretching what we can do. Success doesn't define or determine our potential. It really is the other way around. But also, how would you define success? Different for everyone. And are you there yet? Are you living your definition of successful? Or whether you are or not, there's more that you could do. There's more we could all do if we tap into our potential. It's not, it's not kind of living in a state of never being satisfied, always striving for more. We want to enjoy where we are but also not settle on our laurels, not just start to coast. There is the danger that we get so far. We kind of get settled, we get comfortable. And then before we know it, what was good today, what was successful today is really tomorrow's mediocrity. We plateau, we don't, we don't grow, we don't get any further. And I just, I don't think that's useful. I don't think that's good for any of us. It's not exciting. We are, created I think for a lot more than that but it is a choice it takes intention to to stop to think where do I want to grow what do I want to do differently I don't think we're going to hit maybe 50 or 60 years of age and run out of our potential and then just kind of aimlessly hang around on the planet until we stop breathing you can but I don't think that's I don't think that's what you want I don't want that and I think there's so much more that we could delve into and explore. And if we could, wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? Maybe someone told us that we've not got much potential. What do they know? It's what's inside you that matters. And only you can really determine and explore and draw that out. So people can help us by drawing out more potential. Maybe seeing potential in us that we don't yet see in ourselves. And then we take a step towards it and actually think, yeah, this does kind of feel good. This feels right. I'm actually quite good at this or I like doing this. Or then you've got the other people that, as I said, can kind of box you into a certain category of this is how far you go and no further. And, you know, that's a lid that they might want to put on you, but it doesn't mean you have to you have to accept it or wear it. It is a choice. It really is. Uh, let's. Let's think about it. Let's be intentional. So from a personal perspective, we've always got the opportunity of growing. We could maybe do something completely new. Start it, see how we get on with it. Or maybe something that we do regularly. We have the potential of changing it, mixing it up a bit, trying it better, smarter, faster, or just discovering a way it's more enjoyable. Or are there things that maybe we did in the past and then we didn't do very well at it, we weren't successful, for whatever reason we stopped, but it's something we still like, there's still when we think about it, it kind of makes us smile, it's sort of, yeah, wouldn't that be really good, wouldn't that be good, if you ever hear yourself kind of saying, wouldn't that be good, that can be a signal that, well, that's an area maybe you should investigate a bit more. Then from a professional perspective, for the, whether you're leading organisations, teams, departments, or a couple of individuals. The more aware you are of your potential and how you start to explore and release it, <clears throat> the more you're aware of other people's. You're more aware of those that you lead, their potential. What could they do 
that they're not doing yet? What do they desire to do that they've not started doing yet? Or are there things that you really think they'd be good at and you've just not yet had that conversation with them about whether they're interested or giving them opportunities to resource and support them? It's a huge subject, but this is kind of just a taster to get you thinking about yeah, let's dig in a bit more. Coaching is amazing for digging into potential and understanding and releasing more of it. I'm a big fan of that. You know that. But just in the day to day, you could just start thinking, OK, yeah, am I really maxing out what I can give, what I can do? Or are there loads of other things, loads of other opportunities I can explore? And you don't have to do it all today. Set out a plan of growth, set out a plan of exploration where you try a few different things over a period of time and then start to build what works and grow in those areas i'll leave you with those thoughts for now maybe it's a bit of a challenge hopefully it's encouraging hopefully it's it's inspiring to just yeah let's not settle it's too easy to just kind of settle for where we are and the familiar and stay in that and almost like a hamster wheel we go round and round in routine and we don't really progress or get into new areas, to new things. That's where we really grow. That's where it keeps life exciting, I think. So I will leave you with that for now. It's great that we've shared a few moments together and I will catch you on the next episode. Have a great week.